How to use B free. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about B free and how to use it to build your landing page, how to send emails and all of those things that you actually need from B free. So as we can read here, speed up your email production with B free's user friendly drag and drop HTML editor. It's going to be very easy to use and very user friendly to be honest. So I'm just going to dive deep into how to get started with be free how to set things up and how to just you know kickstart your um project with be free so we can read here some more stuff about uh be free if you would like uh, and the actual website is befree.io so um just let me talk about the pricing real quick before we do that because you know it's actually fair for you to find how much it is going to cost now here's the thing it's actually going to be uh, or is going to provide you with a free plan which is always great because you can just go ahead and test out be free before you commit to anything like the professional and business plan where you would want to go ahead and start paying and subscribing uh, you will have the free plan and you can just test things out and if you would like uh, to upgrade you can actually test things out for 15 days uh, and see whether it's going to be worth the money or not and you can just go ahead and cancel it at any time if you would like or upgrade so it really depends on you and uh, your team members uh, and what you really need to do with be free so go ahead test things out with the free versions you're not going to lose anything uh, and when you when you want to upgrade you can also test out for free for 15 days whether it's going to be for the business or professional so uh, with that being said, if you want to compare anything, uh, you may get to this page right here and you can just compare the plans. I'm not going to really go about uh, comparing them right now. I will show you how to get started. So uh, just again, just go to beafree.io and click on get started free on the top right of your screen. Uh, and then here you can just go ahead and sign up. Uh, you can sign up using Microsoft, Google, or, you know, just enter your uh, details here, like first name, last name. Uh, email and password but for me i'm just going to go ahead and sign up using google and i will see you in the dashboard because it's a very simple um, signing up process you don't really need to follow my instructions here after you sign up you should find a page like this where they're going to ask you a little bit about yourself like what kind of work do you do what is your job role and uh, what are you hoping be free uh, hel helps you achieve i'm just going to skip this but um highly recommend you fill those in they will just you know uh, understand you and know you better and it's just going to help overall so just go ahead and uh not skip just fill them in click on confirm i'm just going to skip it uh, and now we have our dashboard here so we have projects we have activity we have library uh, and we have settings so the first thing that i recommend that you do not only with BFV, to be honest, just most of the time. You just go to settings and think, set things up that are available to you. For example, your uh, custom subdomain, which is given to you by BFV, uh, you can just edit this to whatever you like. I'm just going to use this one for the sake of it. And click on uh, that, and you should just confirm it. And you have this one right now. Instead of, you know, the random numbers that you already had. Uh, and then we can just go to the next tab here. Now you have merge tags, special links, and all of those things, but you will need to upgrade to use them. Uh, but we can just go to styles and move on to the next step where we can just actually style our brand colors. And uh, that's about it when it comes to the free version, I believe. Uh, and the fonts, yes, the fonts that are going to also be available for you to change uh, from the actual builder, which we will get to. But for these styles, you can just go ahead and add the colors they would like. Um, just choose the actual color. And we would want to give it a name. So we can just go ahead and do normal black color. Save. And then here we would want to add maybe another color. Um, dark red. And you can just click on save and you have these two colors here. So next up we have connectors here. You can obviously connect some of the accounts that are uh, available here. Like for example, MailChimp, your Gmail account, um, your SendGrid, um, Klaviyo, and so on. So if you want to connect any of those, you can just feel free to do so. 
uh, and have these integrations which is a great thing now moving on we have the library here you will have the templates that you have created um, for the time being we don't really have any templates but you can just go ahead and create a new template which is going to be easier for you to use um, you know if you want to just use this template over and over again instead of just starting from scratch okay now to the actual most important part here which is projects where you'll be able to create emails or pages and so on so just go to projects and click on create new and here you have the options uh, create a new email create a new page create a new folder uh, which will require a professional plan or import from another account i'm just going to go ahead and start with the page one so we can just go ahead and show you how to do that so just click on create a new page once you click on that they're going to show you plenty of templates to choose from uh, and just go ahead feel free to choose whichever one that you like you can preview it or start designing right away which i'm going to do so i'm just going to click on start designing you can preview it if you want beforehand just you know so you can see exactly what you will be dealing with uh, but i'm just going to exit out of here and this is going to take us to the uh, be free builder here so it's a very simple drag and drop um, website builder uh, or not website page builder so it's not really going to be uh, complicated to learn at all uh, here we we need to obviously get to this menu here which is going to uh, allow us to adjust things or add things as we uh, would like so for example here when it comes to text it's super easy to adjust just click on the block of text uh, and it's going to give you the option to just go ahead and change uh, the actual text to the text you want. And obviously when it comes to formatting, they have plenty. You can just go ahead and highlight the text that you want to format uh, and make it underline, for example, or actually change the um, colors for them. Now, those are the colors that we have chosen from a, you know, the actual um, uh, settings, like if you remember. So I'm just going to choose this one and this is how to do it here if you want to also change the under uh not the underline but the background color of the actual text so let's just make it all um a white background and yeah this is pretty much how to do it uh so this is pretty much is going to work for all the text elements that we have uh and on the right side we have uh options for the actual block itself so if we just click on the block or any other block we can actually go ahead and change some elements to it. For example, the background color, uh, borders, layout, and so much more. I'm not going to really dive deep into what we have here. Uh, I'm just going to highlight some of the important ones because here you can see there's plenty of options to play around with. Uh, and this is not really in-depth um, editor tutorial. So this is why. Here, if you can just click on the actual... Um, image or if you want to just basically change an image you can just simply do it click on the image and click on change image and it's just you can just go ahead and import or i mean upload an image from your computer i'm not going to do that uh, and i'm just going to go back but if you want to you can simply do that uh, as you please we just click on edit page again and yeah it's this is simply how to work your way around so if you want to edit anything just click on it and you will have the options for that on the right side and if you want to add something then you just simply drag and drop and here you added an image if you if for example you want to add a button same goes here if you want to add a spacer you can do so if you want to add the video menu icons and so on it's going to be exactly the same way uh, just go to content and do it uh, if you want to change something an element like i said click on it and they're going to show you the uh, images or not images sorry the options on the right side and you can just simply do that so uh, now that we have uh, done this we can just go ahead and save it from there uh, and we can just go ahead and export it if you would like but i'm just going to exit out of here and move on to the next project which we will be creating here uh, so we will just go to projects and now you can see that we have this one right here uh, but i'm just going to click on create new and let's say we, we want to now send out some emails so we would want to click on create a new email and again once you actually do that it's going to show you some templates and again you can just preview it or start designing which i will do right now 
and it's going to go ahead and get us back into the editor where it's going to be exactly the same way you just go ahead and adjust everything when it comes to your logo you just click on change image uh upload and then you would want to upload a logo i don't really have a logo but i'm just going to be using this one as if it is a logo and i'll just click on insert and you can see that it already changed uh, now make sure the colors are proper if you want to change the background color so it matches click on the actual background click on that um just you know make it white or dark gray or whatever you want to make it uh, out to be click on text to change it click on buttons to change how, where they actually lead to so just go ahead click on the button change this it's going to lead to the actual website so for example google.com if somebody clicks on this button now it's going to actually take them to google.com and so on so um yeah you you are pretty much going to be able to create this template from scratch and just go ahead go crazy change them to the way you like and you will have this template ready to go okay so let's say you have completely finished your design and everything and you want to actually go ahead and uh, send it now you will need to go obviously you know connect it to uh, mailchimp or whatever provider that you use to send out emails click on export and you can just go ahead and push to your sending system so mailchimp brevo or whatever it may be and just click on this and it's going to do that for you but you will need to have connected it previously from the settings that we showed you before um, and this is just going to send out to the email through that exactly the same email that we have here and uh, just so you know for the free version you will have six uh, monthly exports so yeah just keep that in mind uh, and this is pretty much how to go ahead and send out emails with be free or create emails and uh, pay pages using be free you have plenty of options to choose from to make really unique pages and emails with this platform here with that being said i hope that you liked this video and found it to be helpful and thanks for watching